Everybody, Chad Westport here, and today we're taking a quick trip into the soil food web. But well, what is it? Most people know the children's story about the lady who swallowed a fly, and it flew around inside her, and to get rid of it, she ate a spider. And then she ate a bird to get rid of that spider. And to get rid of the bird, she ate a cat. And to get rid of the cat, she ate a dog. This is a food web. Do you see the linear connection there? How the fly and the cat are connected by this web? Okay, let me paint another picture for you. I've got my props, I'm happy about them. This is a teaspoon, little teaspoon. All right, so in this teaspoon, if I were to have healthy soil, there would be billions of bacteria roughly 20 to 30,000 different species. There would also be yards of fungal hyphae. There would be thousands of protozoa and a few dozen nematodes. So this should give you an idea of how microscopic and small scale we are talking about. Teaspoon. All right, now one thing to note too, there are amongst those, there are also chemosynthesizing bacteria. These bacteria, they dig your bottle nutrients in their environment that they like, it's not supportive of the many other microorganisms that we want to do the work below the soil for us. So synthetic nutrients are to be avoided in a true living soil type of system. And that's okay. Many ways to do it. But let's get down quickly into the soil food web. So the billions of bacteria and microorganisms in that teaspoon of soil I showed you, they need carbon for energy to live, right? Okay, so carbon, what is that? Carbon equals organic matter. Could be plant material, paper, cardboard, decomposing bodies, sawdust, etc. But the process all starts above the soil with photosynthesis. So Photosynthesis is used by the plant to create exudates. Exudates travel down the plant to be excreted through the roots into the rhizosphere. The rhizosphere, it's an area about one tenth of an inch around the roots. So very small area. These exudates, well, what's an exudate? Other than a really good word to play in Scrabble. Okay. Exudates, they are in the form of carbs. That includes sugars, but also proteins. Now, these exudates, they attract the bacteria, the fungi, the nematodes, the protozoa, everybody to the party to come and hang out, to feed, and to multiply in this rhizosphere. So the nematodes and the protozoa eat the smaller bacteria and fungi. They poop out this waste, and release the accumulated nitrogen and other minerals that their body can't take into the soil. And that is in a plant available form. It's like us. If we take a thousand percent of your daily vitamin C, well, your body will take a hundred percent of it, but that other 900 it's getting rid of. So they poop, the waste goes out into the soil, and that is in a plant available form, the minerals that they produced. Okay. But these same nematodes and protozoas, they're not safe. They will be eaten by arthropods. These also poop. Get out of here, right? But yeah, they also poop and they release more nutrients from their meal into the soil for plants to uptake. So we've gone from that microscopic, you know, bacteria, and we're already up to the arthropods, which you can see with your eyes. And then it keeps going. But again, kind of the same food web, right? I know I'm talking about poop here, but it doesn't have to be poop. When these microorganisms die, the bodies decompose and they release their stored nutrients back into the soil as well. So the arthropods have things that eat them and more things that eat those and so on. This is a food web. But today we learned about the soil food web, where it starts. What are the pieces? and the purposes.
a fancy term for all this pooping and decomposing and making nutrients plant available, it's called nutrient cycling. So there you go. An intro to the soil food web. Things eat other things and waste is created. This waste is minerals in a plant available form. The more biology you have, the more nutrients are going to be plant available. So now take this basic intro, go out there and expand your knowledge. Enjoy the journey and happy growing. One, two, one, four, two.